Here's my beautiful calyx that I have out in the main room of my sewing area, my creative space as I like to call it. And what I have done to jazz mine up is I put the feet on, which we're going to learn how to do in the video. And I decided to go with uh, four drawers. So the drawers you buy is a set of two and it fills a cubby. And then I put my own hardware on to make it a little bit more custom. And I really like the effect. I think it looks beautiful. And uh, honestly, adding the feet just really, really made the piece look so beautiful. I will tell you, I probably have more money in the feet and the hardware than I do in the actual calyx unit. The calyx unit itself was very inexpensive, but by the time I put all of the drawers in and the feet, um, it, it got to be a little bit expensive. I would have to go over the uh, receipts to figure out exactly how much I spent, uh, but um, you know, I'm okay about it because I think it looks really nice. It's a main piece out in this room, and um, I... I highly recommend uh, decorating or jazzing up your calyx. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Patty. I go by Patty Mac Makes everywhere online. And a welcome to my brand new creative space. So I know what you're asking. What the heck is a creative space? Well, <laughs> it's a place where you go and you enjoy your creative activities. I like to do a lot of different things and I will be able to enjoy all of those different hobbies in this space. Part of updating the space was to bring in some furniture that both uh, looked nice and was uh, helpful. So like the older furniture we had, um, you know, it was a horizontal space. You could put some stuff on it, but it didn't really help me with the task of organizing. And I needed some things that would help me to organize. And so I really became interested in Ikea furniture. I like the Ikea furniture because it's inexpensive. I think it looks nice and it helps to organize a small space. So you get a lot of bang for your buck and out of the footprint of the furniture when you use Ikea pieces. And right over my shoulder right here, this is the calyx unit. And we're going to talk about how I put feet on uh, two different units. I wound up putting the one over here and then I have one in the uh, back room that is like my relaxation room, so to speak. So that's where I go to kind of get away from, from working. <laughs> We all need a space where we can just go and decompress. Even when our work is, you know, fun work, it's still work. You know, you need you need to have time away to just um, unwind and think and, and have that space. The introverts in the room know exactly what I'm talking about. For the video, I uh, wound up going with um, a line that IKEA has out called Calyx. And Ikea like has all of these different lines of furniture and they have uh, different Swedish names. And uh, Calyx is very well known. It's basically just like cubbies. And it's just a really plain, uh, you can get uh, I think two squares or two blocks. They have all, all kinds of different configurations. So, um, but what you're buying when you buy the, the basic calyx is you're just buying like the, the structure, the bones. And from there you can customize it in a lot of different ways. And they have uh, door inserts, they have drawers that you can put in, all kinds of things. And then if you really want to customize the piece then you can go ahead and put your own hardware on for the pulls, which I did. And you can take it a step further and put custom feet onto the units. I wound up just getting all of the uh, bits that I used in terms of the, um, the pieces to put the feet on. I just picked it up at my Home Depot because I like to see what I'm buying and I just went ahead and got it in the store locally. That way I could just go in and get it <laughs> and come home with it. When you put feet on, you need a couple of things. You need the hardware that you will attach to the furniture and then you will need the actual leg and um, the leg is just whatever shape or size you get and then it has like a, um, 
a screw on the top. And so you attach the hardware onto the furniture and then you will just screw that foot into place. It's it's really pretty easy. And I found with Calyx, because it's, <laughs> it's basically just paper is what it is. This is not high-end furniture. Uh, but because it's just the paper, I just like used the uh, the screwdriver and was able to uh, s screw or affix the, um, the the furniture plate right on to the to the calyx without needing a drill or anything. So I have I don't use drills for anything. I do it all by hand. So Phillips head screwdriver is my best friend. Okay, so. Let's jump into the video. The uh, original part of this I filmed quite a bit ago, so if it looks a little weird, I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So uh, let's go to uh, Patty of the Past and see how to put the feet on the calyx. I'm putting feet on my uh, calyx, just to dresses it up a little bit more. It's not hard. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised, I was so afraid of doing this and actually it's really easy so uh, what I picked up was this piece okay and then I got this piece and I'm not even gonna paint them I, a lot of people will paint theirs I'm just gonna let it go with the pine I think it's pretty I can go with if I want to paint it I can always paint it later um, but I like just the raw wood so all you're gonna do is attach this onto your uh, your calyx, your furniture, and then you just um, screw this in. So you want to pick this side that's flush. Screw that down. You don't even need a, uh, a screwdriver for this. And then I measured in using my seam gauge to get it just the same distance off of the edge. And I went with three centimeters. So <laughs> It's so easy. I'll show you what I did. And uh, yeah, no screw, no, no drill required. You can do this with just um, a screwdriver, which is super nice. So I can't believe I'm actually doing this. <laughs> Here we go. My friend Megan will be so proud of me. That's truly it. So you don't even need a drill to do this job, just a little elbow grease, literally. Uh, one thing I'll tell you on the hardware piece is make sure that you put the flat or the flush side uh, down. So you wanna have it be uh, flush on the furniture and that's it. And um, my calyx is the longer one with uh, four openings. So I'm going to put on six feet <laughs> so we'll do that and uh yeah we'll see what we've got i just wanted you to see this with all of the six feet on and this is how i wound up doing it i put the pointy side of the hardware to the uh, front facing part of the furniture i thought it would be you know less chance of seeing the hardware on the front so that's why i did that <laughs> i don't know if it's right but that's what i did and uh, yeah, they didn't have anything in a square. So that's why I got all these triangles. But uh, yeah, feet are on, it wasn't that bad. Uh, some screws are a little tighter than others, but um, I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm going to get it flipped over and moved into place.
this is the calyx that I put together for my back room and on this one you can see I did the uh, door inserts and on one side I put my uh, quilting and knitting books and on the other side I have just like a little cubby thing and then a um, secondary computer on top and I did the same legs and it's really nice because when you get it off of the floor like this you can see I've got my little hand weights tucked underneath so it gives you a little bit of space where you can tuck small things underneath and honestly it just looks better when it's up and off of the floor so yeah the legs and the uh, door inserts and I put my own hardware onto the doors so those are the upgrades that I did on this one so this one has doors and the other one has drawers and I really like both of them and you know if I wanted to add doors or drawers to this to kind of finish it out I could still uh, go back and pick up those inserts and add them if I wanted to so that's an option but I kind of like the look of the the books and then the little uh, item at the end anyway that's uh yeah that's that's what I did back here that's literally it <laughs> it's so easy I was like so afraid of this project I was like thinking I don't know, I guess I work myself up and think things are going to be really difficult or complicated, uh, but the truth is, it's not. And uh, it's just a little thing, but it looks so nice when it's done. Uh, I will tell you, it's not exactly inexpensive. Um, I have more money invested in the hardware and the feet and the hardware for the feet than I do in the actual Calyx unit. So what I will say to you is just think of if you decide to do something like this, just think of the Calyx as just um, the, the structure, the bones. And uh, don't get freaked out if your, your legs and your inserts and stuff are a little more expensive than you thought. Because it really is a nice piece of furniture when you're done. And it looks, it looks really good. I mean, it's, you know, it's cheapo stuff, but you know, it looks really nice when it's finished. If you just, you know, take your time, put it together. I'm not going to show you how to put the furniture together. There's like a hundred million videos um, on the on YouTube about how to put calyx together. So check one of those out. But I did want you to see how I put the feet on because I had my own little method for that. And I used a seam gauge, so <laughs> it's sewing appropriate. Okay, that's it. I hope that that inspires you to try something new and different uh, in your creative space. And uh, on that note, I'm going to um, get busy and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.